So normally how this goes is I do something funny, I try to make people laugh, I try to be entertaining, but no. We cannot kind of do that right now, considering how Saturday's game against the Montreal Canadiens went. So yes, I'm going to be screaming, I'm mad, I am angry, I'm frustrated right now, because that 3 nothing loss was embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing that you couldn't start on time in your own building against what was supposed to be your biggest rival of all time, although the rivalry is very much at the worst part it's ever been, um, according to not only myself, but also to Joe Haggerty. So let's just jump into this. And no, there's not going to be any fancy editing. There's no jump cuts. There's no jokes. There's really nothing positive that you can take out of that game outside of maybe the play of Ryan Donato. And for God's sakes, put him on the second line. He was your best, he was your best player all night against the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, pretty much did put the puck in the net, although that got called back uh, for offsides. But still, your overall best player, Ryan Donato. Who's your worst? Well, guess what? Two U's, two K's, two Karask. As always, two softies in the first period. My God, wh- how? How do you give up a goal from your own goal line, far away in the corner, and he just puts it, you know, uh, there was a hole there, I seal the post, so for the foreseeable future, Tuka Rask is no longer your starting goaltender, it is Yaroslav Halak, no, no, I will accept no substitutes, Yaroslav Halak has played better, he's gotten two shutouts, he has looked absolutely phenomenally better, observably better than Tuka Rask. The team plays better in front of Halak. Put Halak as your starting goalie for the foreseeable future. Tuka Rask is on the bench until he gets his head out of his own ass. Furthermore, enough with the slow starts. I don't know if you need to retweak the lineup or something, but something needs to be done to waken this team up offensively cannot have a 20-minute delay before they realize, oh, there's a hockey game. I don't know if it was because they were watching the Red Sox and they were all sluggish because they watched, you know, up till 3.30 in the morning with the Boston Red Sox. I don't know if that was the problem. If that's the case, my God, I'm concerned. But there's a lot of hope for this young team. But they cannot look like they did on Saturday. My God, they got outplayed by Carey Price, and Carey Price is a guy that you need to get traffic in front of, you need to get shots at, you need to make him feel pressured, you need to make sure he can't see the puck, and he was seeing the puck very well for the most part of that game. So, maybe that's a matchup thing, that's a game plan thing, I don't know, but, ah. So, tough test for the Bruins tonight. They get the Carolina Hurricanes in Carolina, and that's a good, young team. So, Boston's in trouble. Uh, Charlie McAvoy placed on IR as of today. Not what you want to see, but Tory Krug comes back. I'd rather have Charlie McAvoy, personally, because, you know, Charlie McAvoy is your future number one defenseman on this team. Um, So, yeah. Interesting things to see how it goes, but yeah, can't have another, you know, 20 minutes off in a game. Has to be a full 60-minute effort in order to get the victory. So that's that. Signing off for the Bruins Recap Show.